Hi everyone and welcome back. This is Sky. I'm coming on today to talk to you a little bit about uh, more in-depth astrology in July of 2021. Uh, be sure to check the July Comprehensive Astrology video below and in the top right hand corner uh, because that video kind of offered an overview into what's going on this month. But as I said in that video, um, I was going to come on and talk a little bit more about the Venus-Mars conjunction in Leo and some of the angles that that has created and kind of coming off on the other side of the T-square that was very strongly um, in effect, okay? And still is as I'm filming this video, but by the time it posts, I think that Venus and Mars are going to move and progress forward and kind of break up the T-square a little bit. Uh, but nonetheless, with the moon transiting over, we have some very, uh, for some, hectic or chaotic uh, transits coming in this month. Um, apologies for any external noise. It appears that some construction workers have uh, come outside and are doing some work. So hopefully that won't come through too much. Um, but yeah, let's talk a little bit about um, getting through this time and feeling healthy. All right. So the energy uh, coming in right now and uh, hopefully dissipating very soon is kind of like that. There's kind of a Mercury retrograde uh, energy within this current transit going on uh, because we have Uranus and Saturn at T-square, you know, um, Venus and Mars uh, made the full T-square, Uranus and Saturn are at square. Um, so Uranus is the higher octave of Mercury. Uh, when it squares Saturn, it's like a higher octave Mercury retrograde transit. So if you're coming out of the previous Mercury retrograde that we had through June um, and still kind of feeling like things are like that, that is natural. I would say by around like July 25th, it will really start to pass. But, um, you know, there's a lot of positive stuff coming in right now. Uh, the Venus-Mars conjunct in Leo is reminding people of their good traits. It's reminding people of the uh, purpose of their lives and the love that they need to discover, okay? Uh, whenever there's a Venus-Mars conjunction, it deals with the balancing of uh, feminine and masculine energy, and it deals also with uh, reproduction, replication, and basically life force energy merging together and creating another uh, energetic type of entity. So this is a wonderful time at least to conceptualize new things in your life, like uh, creating conception of ideas, um, new businesses, new all that stuff. We've kind of been talking around it for a while because this transit has been coming into effect for a while. Um, but it is kind of uh, tormented because of the Uranus-Saturn square on the other side of this. It feels that what we're pursuing has such a huge pressure. It feels that um, maybe some of us aren't even feeling confident about the big things that we've created in our lives. We might feel that there's too much pressure attached to it. We might not believe that we have the uh, stay staying power to actually accomplish what we're setting out for. It's kind of, to a degree, this energy like building skyscrapers in the mind. And I do feel that a lot of people are feeling anguish when they realize like their potential. They realize, I could do this. I could be this. I could maximize this or that in this or that way. And as they then have the comparison of what they're actually doing... Uh, compared to what they're thinking in their mind, that can start to become really harsh for people. And I think that the challenge with this current transit that is basically happening for all of July is what do I really need to create in my life? Because the energy is so creative, the energy is so uh, conceptual that you can almost create anything. The manifestation capability is very high, but it kind of is also a difficult labor to get it out or to actually make this happen, okay? Or to actually manifest these things. And I'm trying to understand what the larger karmic theme behind all of this like uh, polarity is that we're experiencing right now. What is the karmic theme behind uh, seeing your purpose or seeing all of these great new ideas but then also kind of being very indecisive about the actual manifestation of them or being very indecisive about actual commitment to them. As that to me feels like the most, um, the most clear articulation of what this energy Venus-Mars conjunct in Leo 
creating a T-square with Uranus and Taurus and Saturn and Aquarius. Why do I want what I want? Why aren't I actually committing to what I want? Why am I afraid to commit to my purpose? Why am I afraid to maximize the um, benefit of something that I'm uh, partaking in responsibly? Um, there is kind of this thing that's coming up with like responsibility versus attractiveness versus also um, societal relativity. Uranus being societal relativity, Saturn being um, responsibility, and then Venus Mars being um, attractiveness and uh, human uh, life force energy replication. These things are at odds with each other right now. So there could be this feeling that to be responsible or to be structured in my life will take away from the attractive quality of my life. And perhaps also it's not feeling like societally it's like fitting in, but at the same time, maybe it can. And I'm feeling many people just going really back and forth with this, like with the contents of their lives, they're thinking, wow, this is just exactly what I've always needed. But I also, but then the next day it's like totally off kilter. So um, there's got to be some type of higher, um, revelation or conclusion that this brings, okay? That's the only thing that I think that we can strive for here with this T-square is to understand why uh, there is this indecisiveness or why uh, these things, which are very important parts of our lives, commitments, you know, uh, societal relevance, uh, attractiveness, and, and loving and enjoying what we have in our lives, all these things are important Okay, and why do they feel that they're at odds? Why do they feel that they are, can't really coexist? That's what a T square always brings up is why can't, you know, why are these things at odds? Why are these different constructs or different aspects of your life not, you know, harmonizing? What caused that? You know, what choices, what actions of others, what um, daily small contributions that led to a larger whole. Uh, what made it this way? We have a very adequate period right now in uh, cancer season still, um, if you're getting to this video before July 21st, to really dumb it down or simplify it and see why I've made things so difficult, why um, I've also maybe acquiesced or allowed certain people to come in that contribute to this type of indecisiveness or feed off of my unhappiness. That's very possible right now. Okay, it's very possible to have people in your life who feed off of unhappiness or people who may actually have an interest in, um, I'm not going to say creating unhappiness for another, but maybe cultivating a life where there are just constant things to sift through. That's another thing about T-squares. They tend to create a lot. If you can imagine a huge filing cabinet just with stuff you've got to go through and stuff you've got to sift through, like it usually does bring that up, especially with Uranus and Saturn being involved. Um, so that's also possible right now as a manifestation for this transit is just having a lot of things to go through. You know, it's built up, it's maybe stacked up over a period of time. And, you know, things relating to taxes, things related to um, anything like online, because Uranus Saturn square, I think is the economic is an economic transition relating to media and online methods. So I'm thinking like online banking, um, taxes that deal with online intervals or anything like that, like could be an issue right now or could be something that needs attention right now, especially with Venus and Mars, which both deal with like, like Venus is how we receive like money and value. And then Mars is how we strive for it, how we push forward and like, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get that job. I'm going to make this money. I'm going to, you know, get myself happier or what, whatever. Like that's the Mars side and the Venus side is like, I just know it's going to come. I just know I'm going to receive it. So uh, how we receive and how we strive with Venus Mars conjunct in Leo, the fixed fire sign, natural fifth house ruler, uh, ruling over um, expression, performance, um, love relationships, affairs, things like that, uh, popularity, um, attractiveness, instincts as well. Um, so with Venus and Mars coming together in that sign and involved in this T-square, it says to me that our expression and our projection is currently maybe not in order or, or, or it's not functioning in a natural way. Maybe there are uh, 
falsities or fakeness within a lot of people's projection to the world right now. And I think that many people are being called to uh, get it right, okay, to uh, know where they need to, you know, put the face on and where not to or where, where you know, what things in their lives need authenticity, okay? It feels like that could be um, really a big area of focus with this transit as well. And I think that one of the uh, main conclusions that are here from that from this time is just that there is going to be a result like a result is oncoming uh, t squares are kind of like a labor they're like a birthing process so especially when they're these types of t squares uh, so it's going to eventually have a result like the, it can't go on forever like if you are having a lot of tension right now or indecisiveness or it seems like every single option in front of you is not quite solid which I'm, I'm getting a lot of people here, okay? I've had people reaching out to me. I've seen this in my own life where it just kind of feels like everything in front of us is, uh, each one is a good decision, but perhaps each one also has a threat to it or each one has a, comes with a compromise of some sort. Um, how will we commit our time? How will we commit our energy? What will we commit it to? Uh, these things are quite, quite something right now, okay? And... Um, the need for a turnover or the need for a new type of energy commitment or the commitment to true purpose coming up strongly. And to a degree, I also think that this T-square starts to create it all for us. Like we we are kind of in a manifestational point, a uh, paradigm point where it's like, um, in a way, it feels like we're creating every bit of it. Like we might think that there are only these few options in front of us, but somehow we come through on the other side with a little bit of everything or with a eccentric eclectic mix which um i guess it just has to be for some people but it is pretty like hectic and it's really uh it seems like a lot of people are making such large time commitments now that it's like where will their energy go but as i was saying in july i am seeing that the second half of this year september is like uh, the psychic image i got was atlas holding up the world so i think that a lot of people are going to be outputting more than they have in such a long time um, for this reason, we need conditioning. Uh, one really fabulous way to offset this energy is um, conditioning of the body. So through exercise regimens, Venus and Mars being in the fire sign of Leo, uh, getting your body where you want it to be um, also changes in appearance, new types of clothing, new types of hairstyles. Leo rules over the hair. Um, so with Venus and Mars there, you could get a very a haircut that really just changes your appearance or your energetic essence, and that could really be helpful, perhaps. Um, small things like that with Leo energy are very helpful. Like, what is the uh, shape of something? What is the what is like the shape of the hair? Like, it kind of um, seems mundane, but it can really uh, change people up a lot as well. Um, but then also with the body, you know, Leo is a very strong. Like, the muscles are very um, developed, so uh, that is also a good way to channel this energy. Um, but of course, it raises up to more of like a societal component with Saturn being opposite and retrograde and Uranus be, uh, creating the T-square. So it's like um, there really, I don't think, is a huge possibility to divert anything right now. What do I mean by that? Like um, we might be actually fooling ourselves a little bit about how much control we actually have at this point in time. Um, uh, certainly we always have that autonomy. We can always make huge changes, but are we really, do we even need to be thinking about that? Like, are we really ready for, you know, um, a huge gamble? Like, are, are we really prepared to gamble with the way things feel right now? Like, are we, do we really think that is? And for some people it might be right. Okay. Some people might need to just make that leap of faith. I do see that for some people, but it's not the majority. Okay. It's not the majority. The majority, I feel, of people uh, contact this current energetic spectrum with a need for stability and security and a need for some type of guarantee or a need for some type of platform or bridge instead of making the swim or swimming across the river. Like a lot of people are choosing the bridge instead. Um, though I do see some people swimming and that's more like the leap of faith. You know, that's what I was just talking about. Like, would you like to swim this river or would you like to cross the bridge? Um, don't fool yourself and think that the leap of faith is something that it's not, okay? Um, for some people, it is right. But um, it might be more well-timed like two years from now or um, it, with a little bit more under your belt. I can see that for some people. 
Um, more stream of consciousness about this time. Uh, just don't be hard on yourself, okay? Try to trust that it comes through. Try to just commit to the momentum that you already created for yourself with your own uh, maybe solitude in like 2020. Like what did you see for yourself then? You can kind of just step by step incrementally move toward that and probably be totally covered and totally safe, okay? And just remembering that July of 2021 is a karmic rebalancing month. Okay, so on Patreon, in the most recent tea chat, I talked about karmic rebalancing as a viewer request. I talked about what that means and how we go through that and and uh, what the purpose of that is. But um, any difficulty right now serves as karmic rebalancing, and then so does any uh, benevolence or unexpected um, benefit. Uh, you can get a very good idea of where you stand karmically right now through seeing how easy or difficult this time is. So if it's very difficult, there might need, need to be some um, changes, but also um, watch out for overcomplicating things or choosing to make something that isn't difficult, difficult. You might be surprised that the option in front of you is such a blessing, okay? But you might look at it, you know, to make it happen or to actually go through with it and think, oh my God, how do I, how do I make this move happen? How do I you know, um, transition into this other field or this other job? How do I balance, you know, these multiple jobs? Or how do I balance this purpose and then my security generation? How, how do I do it? But in a way, it ends up being a blessing. Or in a way, you end up having the ability to wield such an eclectic mix of energies that um, there's something like indestructible, okay, about your essence, which is what this T-square is ultimately generating for everyone, okay? Okay, guys, that that's, wow, wow, this is really cool. Um, this T-square is, at the end of the day, and we're going to see this by like September 1st of 2021, um, at the latest, it's generating for everybody that which is indestructible about you, or that which is a huge strength, at least. Nothing's indestructible, but it's kind of, I guess, like just a sort of a cute way of talking about it. Um, what is a super potent strength of yours, of your character, of your um, method, of your ethic, is being created at this time. So I invite you to think about what that might be based on the current experiences at hand. And I invite you to make the highest decision for your long-term trajectory now. Okay, everyone. And with that, I'm going to leave you guys uh, with some food for thought there. Um, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications. I will be posting um, a lot. I'm preparing for a huge new session of content, and I've kind of been taking a little bit of time to um, get all that together and just kind of working very um, methodically, but also... Um, you know, naturally with, with my content here. But if you enjoyed it, I'm also on Patreon. I do weekly bonus forecasts uh, that are only available over there. And uh, be sure to check that out if you would like uh, more content. So have a wonderful time of this transit, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this uh, sort of impromptu stream of consciousness dialogue. Uh, we'll be talking soon. Much love. Bye.